Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by Hello, this is Dave. I'm the lead designer for Jovian Wars for DreamPod 9. I'm just going to talk to you in this video simply about one of the particular components of the game, uh, which is the data card, which is provided in the Alpha Rules package for the Alpha Rules playtest. Uh, free of charge, of course. You can download it through drivethroughrpg.com. Uh, one of the things I'm going to talk about here is just how to use these cards. And one of the simplest ways to use the cards is simply print them out, build your fleet out of them, and then when you're done, they're going to be covered with damage, and then you can put take them out and print up some more. It's a cool way of keeping a record of all the different battles your ship has been in. If you want to mark down the date they were used, uh, how much damage they took, the ships they destroyed, that would be an excellent way of playing, say, a, cam an, a campaign style uh, of series of games. What I prefer to do, in many cases, is with the capital ships, is put them inside of a plastic sleeve. Now there's two types of plastic sleeve. There's this very thin one, it's very flexible. They're often called penny sleeves. They're used for single cards. And there's these harder, more rigid uh, plastic sleeves. Now both of them are used, you can get at any card shop. They're used for any kind of training card game or for collecting sports cards or such. And an easy way to use them is simply open them up and you can slip them inside. Now I happen to cut this one to fit perfectly inside the small sleeve because I'm like, I like using the larger heavier sleeves with these. It simply makes it easier to, uh, to put them in and take them out afterwards. Now with this method what you can do is take your handy dandy non-permanent overhead marker and if you take damage you can mark that damage here on the cards how, whichever way you like to. You can mark off weapons, you can note if there's damage to a ship, uh, if there's anything like that you can do, you can mark all that on the card. And then when you're done, or if you manage to repair some damage during the game, it's very easy to take something like a Q-tip or a piece of uh, paper or something and just wipe off that damage if it's not relevant or it's being repaired or if you just want to play a new game with it. Now if you ever leave the, the ink on the cards for too long, it's not hard. You can always just cover it over a little bit more to reactivate it and mark it off like that or you can use rubbing alcohol this is what I do when I'm playtesting use cards in multiple ways I can also write on the cards to remind myself I can write the name of the card if I have two types of ship two ships of the same type uh, and it simply makes playing the game faster and easier to do